Okay then, Namaste, Adam Sriyakal. This is C.S. Sankar Pranstia and I welcome each one of you in this amazing session on strategic or what you can say, advanced financial management, a part of C.A. and C.W.A. final guys. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Please confirm because now we are going to rock and roll and ensure that we get the maximum marks in this subject. What's up guys? How's the Josh? Tell me, let the game begin. And do introduce yourself. So we have a lot of live students from all over India, especially from southern part of India. So let's see, guys. And please ensure that you guys are writing your name, location, so that the more we communicate with each other, the better it will be for you. Because the more we get comfortable, you can ask your doubts, so on and so forth. Awesome. So we have Kirutika from Tirunavelli, Tamil Nadu, Gokul from Trichy. Uh, Pushpagiri from Saran, Kirti from Chennai, Pawan from Hyderabad, Sudarshan from Chennai, uh, Arkiran from Aurangabad, Hitesh K from Bengaluru, great, Subhashri from Bengaluru, Ritik from Rajasthan, oh ho, Ritik, so you have taken a full English batch, are you sure? P. Gotham from Hyderabad, great, so few students have also joined in even though they understand Hindi because they wanted kind of a live batch so I, I can understand Gopi Chand from Hyderabad, Joel I think from Kerala, Arun S from Kerala, Subhashri from Bengaluru, uh, Bhaskar from Bangalore, uh, Raju Pedi from Hyderabad okay so the list is going on and on so welcoming each one of you in this batch guys and let me tell you that for the next two months or so we are going to have the best times of our life especially understanding this subject in depth and ensuring that we get the maximum marks out of your whole syllabus in this subject that's the promise that i want from each one of you and the reason i say this is that because it is a practical subject the chances of scoring high are very good at the same time this subject will be very useful to you in your paper six so in case uh, your elective is not exempt or group two is uh, pending then in that case this subject will also be useful there and if it is done only group one is pending then let this subject be so strong that even if you score a 40 40 in your audit and fr still you get through the whole group one all right guys so wishing you all the very best and on that josh and hosh let the game begin and the first thing that I want from each one of you is a proper communication. The more we communicate with each other, the better it is going to give in terms of an overall result. What say guys? Yes? Sure. So how do we communicate with you, sir? Uh, can we have your contact number? So the first thing that I'm going to do is share my contact number with you for only one reason. That in case you have any doubts, from now on, you can directly connect with me through my whatsapp uh, number anytime now obviously there are so many students who would want to connect with me and i get a lot of whatsapps every day so there are chances that you may i may miss your whatsapp in case i do that do you can send me some gentle reminders as well so that's that's just a, a request in case you have messaged me and i don't reply which will be the case a lot of times because of so much uh, pending messages but as soon as i'm free i do reply so you can be rest assured so you can just send a reminder reminder one two three ten and i don't get angry so you don't you don't have to feel that oh uh, how do i message to sir sir may get angry it's not going to be the case sir is a happy go lucky guy okay sure so on that positive note let our game of afm you are a CMA, CWA student, SFM. Let the game of advanced finance, let the game of strategic finance begin. All right, guys. Sure. So I'll just give you a small introduction of myself and then we will kick start. Myself, CACS, Sankal Kanstia, the profession, I'm a chartered accountant. And when I cleared my CA final examinations. When I became a chartered accountant, the first job that I did was in hardcore finance. I joined 
J.P. Morgan in their asset management and financial due diligence team worked there in and out in the finance division for four good years, managing clients from all over India, including uh, from all over the world, including India, United States of America, uh, UK, Europe, some parts of Australia. So had a good exposure of global financial markets. And that is what you will see when I am going to impart you my teaching. So as a finance uh, person teaching you a finance, you can understand that whatever I've learned in my practical life, I will try my best to give or share the knowledge with each one of you. And obviously it will be helpful to you one in examination and understanding the a lot of concepts and some. And at the same time, even after you become a chartered accountant, after that also, it will be very, very useful, especially if you are planning to launch yourself or go into the field of finance as a career option in future. Right. So work there for around four years and it was one of the best experiences. But obviously my calling was teaching. So frankly speaking, uh, I'll just share some uh, you know personal incidents with you. When I, I cleared my uh, professional examination by the age of probably 22, I had cleared both CA and CS. Now, I always wanted to become or get into the field of teaching. But my parents said, especially my father said that now you are a CACS. Why do you want to, uh, you know, directly get into teaching? Try the corporate world, develop your personality, try to understand things practically. And then you can always get into teaching. Second thing he said was that if you are really passionate, start it as a teaching like Saturday, Sundays, Monday to Friday, you have your office. Saturday, Sunday, uh, you can uh, start teaching. So I thought, yeah, that's a good idea because he was of the view that after a few years, you may feel that, okay, teaching is not my real calling. Then in that case, you will get stuck. So that's where I started uh, thinking in those lines that, okay, I'll start a job. Saturday, Sunday, I'll do the teaching. And if teaching really excites me, then in that case, then I will come full time. And that was the plan that we had thought of and it worked and how. So coincidentally, after becoming a chartered accountant, first call that I got from uh, was JP Morgan, a dream company. And I had to clear, can you imagine, can you guess how many rounds I had to clear? I had to clear six rounds of interview before finally getting my dream offer letter. So that, that, that's how the story goes. Was there for a good four years, learned a lot of things there very nice company and beautiful colleagues who always help me and then here i am with you sharing the whole world of finance global financial markets each and everything is what we are going to discuss okay so this was about me so the good part you are going to understand finance from a hardcore finance guy uh so let's start guys what say now on that note first thing that we are going to start with is the subject knowledge let's try and understand that what exactly is this subject all about what are the chapters what is my planning related to taking you through this subject and all of that guys can you hear me can you see me everybody please confirm are you there Great. Then uh, let's start on that note. So first thing I will discuss the whole subject with each one of you and uh, internal topics. And then I'll tell you what is going to be my approach. And you also have to follow that approach strictly. If you do that, I assure that you will get the maximum marks possible. Okay. Sure. So here we are with the subject which is a part of paper two, advanced financial management, right? It is paper uh, 10 or 11 something in, in CWA. Now, how is this whole subject divided? I'll take you to How is this whole subject divided? Let me take you through. First,
Now, I have personally divided this subject in a particular way. 101% each one of you has to follow this and that is how we will approach this subject. So, I have divided this subject into four phases. What are those four phases? I call them as phase one. Then there will be a phase two. Then there will be a phase three. And then we have the phase four. So, that's how the four phases of this subject are divided into. Alright. Now, what exactly does each phase consist of? I will tell you the chapters that each phase consists of so that you come to know of this whole thing. So, the first phase consists of four, sorry, three chapters. In all, there are going to be three chapters in our phase one. Then there is going to be a phase two, whereas which has four chapters. Then there is going to be phase three, which again has three chapters. And then there is going to be phase four, which will have approximately five chapters. So five plus three, eight plus four, 12 plus three, 15. In all, 15 chapters is what we are going to do. And as per your due, if we check out, you will see in all, in all, in all, in all. How many chapters do you see here? That's right. Yes, this has also 15 chapters. All right. So 15 chapters here and I am going to absolutely go by the ICAI content. 15 chapters for me as well. Now, what is the first phase going to consist of? So first phase is going to consist of three major chapters. First chapter in that is going to be, guys, mutual funds. Then there is going to be portfolio management. It's going to be portfolio management. Then there is going to be valuation of securities. These are the three chapters which will be a part of my first phase, which will be a part of my first phase then is going to come phase two then is going to come phase two what is going to be the phase two phase two is going to be forex then it is going to be derivatives Derivatives, then is going to be IFM and then it is going to be IRRM, Interest Rate Risk Management, IFM, International Financial Management, Forex, Derivatives. That is going to be our phase 2. I will explain you each and every phase, don't worry. Then comes your phase 3. Okay, what is the phase 3? Pay attention. So, what is it going to be the in phase 3? It is going to be mergers and acquisitions, corporate slash business valuation, corporate slash business valuation and finally a new introduction in the new syllabus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, put your hands together for advanced capital, advanced capital budgeting advanced capital budgeting and then comes your fourth phase which has five chapters what are those five chapters first is a securitization second risk management so do we have to write it obvious then there is going to be startup finance then there is i'll give you time don't worry Let's just look here. Then is going to be security analysis. And then there is going to be financial policy and corporate structure. Financial policy and 
corporate structure. These are the four phases and total of 15 chapters and from now on, this is how you are going to approach these four, uh, these 15 chapters guys. So for the world, there may be 15 chapters, but for you, there are four phases. This is how I am going to approach the whole subject as well, frankly speaking. Yeah. And this subject is divided. So seriously speaking, the subject is divided this way. Why? Because first phase is going to be a little medium phase. Second phase, let the game, let the gear go up. Then is going to be a average phase. And then finally, a easy phase. That's how, that's the reason I've read it. Now, you will ask me, sir, how many marks every phase consists of, right? So, I have very strategically divided this whole thing, 25 to 30 marks per phase. 25 to 30 marks per phase. 25 to 30 marks per phase. And 25 to 30 marks per phase. So that you cannot leave even a single phase in option. By doing every phase, you will complete your 25 to 30 marks. So when I complete this, you will be like, okay, 25, 30 marks in our pocket. And the same thing will keep on going. And that's how I have divided it in this manner. Okay, guys. What's up? Yes, done, sir, done. Now, my, my suggestion is that you have to write this down. And see, guys, ensure that you are putting this in your head from the beginning. So whenever you have to study AFM, you know, it should not look like a burden. It will be like, okay, first I just have to complete phase one. Phase one done, 30 marks in my pocket. Another phase one, two done, 30 marks. Another phase three done, 30 marks. Even another phase done, 30 marks. So now, sir, how 25 to 30? 25 into 4, 100. 30 into 4, 120. Including option, the paper comes for 120 marks. Gotcha, everybody. And one thing that I do in every batch, I will request you as, I will request you as well to do that. And that is, and that is ensure that this becomes your, uh, you can say a wallpaper whenever you are studying AFM. I suggest my student to take this pic and put in this pic as your story. Yes. This pic becomes your story for today, right? We all put stories relating to, we all put stories uh, relating to our outing and everything. Let us now start putting stories about our work as well. Work is worship, studies as well. This is my story for today. This is my story for today. What say? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, okay. Yes, guys. So now everybody take two minutes and write all of this down and cement it in your head on an immediate basis.
Okay, guys. So now <clears throat> moving on. Let the game begin. So, what are going to be your expectations? This is the first lecture. Let's break the ice. Whenever you start a new session, there is something called as an ice breaker. So let's have an ice breaker with y'all. Tell me what are your expectations from this batch? Chal. Let me have something called as a feed forward. In in uh, management, there is a concept called as feedback, which you would have heard. Feedback is what? After I complete the batch, I will ask you all, how was the whole session? How was the lectures? How were the books and everything? So after I have delivered, if I ask you my review, it is called as a feedback. But before starting a service or anything, if I am asking you that what are your expectations, it is called as a feed forward. So you now have to give me a feed forward that what are your expectations and then let's see. Uh, majority of it, I'll at least try my best to cover it so that I also know what are what are you thinking, what do you want. Right guys, I'll also set some expectations from my end. So what are going to be student expectations? Let's, let's, let's understand guys, come on. Sure. Now tell me. Yes. So guys, I'm waiting for y'all. The first thing that I want from y'all, whether you are expecting it, you are going to give it or not, I don't know. But the first thing that I want from y'all is that I want it to be an interactive session. Ensure that there is a two-way communication. Otherwise, you know, it will not be for that fun. Uh, okay. Brushank NSA, sir, keep it exam oriented for securing marks. Okay, fair enough. Conceptual clarity. Sir, exam pass kara then a bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I am here for. 100% concept coverage. So, second thing that I will pick up from your point is that, sir, ensure that we are covering 100%. Yes, I will. I will ensure that it is 100% covered. Okay. Concept clarity and flow to sums. So let's keep it like this. 200%. Hello. 200% concept clarity. Right on. Yes, tell me, what else? No formula mugging up pure logical flow. Very good point, yeah. So let's write down derivation of formulas, sir. This is what you want. Derivation of formulas. Yes, we will try our best to ensure this happens. Uh, something, root level understanding. So, okay. So I'll, I'll put that here. Root level understanding, conceptual clarity. Okay, one thing that I will give from my end, being a, a understood this subject practically through global markets, through global trading. So I'll use that sir, global connection with real life example. This is what I will put my from my end. So global connection with the real life examples. And trust me, they are going to help you so much in remembering a lot of a lot of formulas yes then next track our mistakes and quick feedback and suggestions for 
improvement so what i will do is a lot of times this i do in lot of my batches even in costing fm everywhere i do that i will teach you a concept and then give you all 5 minutes then i after teaching a concept i will start with sums i will give you all 5 minutes to solve a sum on your own and then i will start so that you come to know that okay this is the mistake that we have done or we were not able to think something and then when i solve it you will really feel that okay we uh, helps yes this global connection with real life examples will be really helpful to you in ibs uh, as well that's right okay mcqs along with chapters this is going to happen but this will happen directly on my telegram channel so stay connected to the telegram channel because that is where the mcq connection is going to come okay right then another one thing that i may try is possibly live market trading and yeah yes chalo done so the expectations are set now hey, baskar is saying no fun to invest brother i will invest you have to give me suggestions loss mine profit i will send a zomato parcel to you <laughs> connection with live examples for sure that will happen for sure that will happen yes so see essentially we have almost covered all the points yes chal done now starts my approach now let me share since this is the first session i will share my approach to afm so it is now let me tell you based on this feedback i will tell you my or our approach to afm advanced financial management first thing that i am going to cover in our approach is that you are going to get books the session will be interactive you will try to understand everything i will solve all your doubts so yes that is another i think point somebody had said sir solving of doubts so that will be there don't worry solving of doubts i'll be there to ensure that doubts are solved timely now see our connection is there fair enough but there will be a point that after i have made you all understand after you have understood even after that there will be times when you will start thinking that oh i forgot that and i forgot this but the only connector then between you and me is going to be my books so what is the books that you are going to get two books that you are going to first thing that my books cover 100% coverage is there in my book and you are going to get two books yes you heard that right guys one is going to be optimized books which is a detailed version so optimized books do hai this is a detailed version but end of the day we have to give our examination now in a exam scenario if this 850 900 pages book is to be covered obviously it is not frankly speaking feasible for us and that is where i always ensure to give you a summary book as well i ensure to give you a summary book as well and which we call as the magic book which we call as the magic book all right guys you saved my group 2 so i am depending on you for group 1 to definitely brother feel free okay
So these are the books that you are going to get. One summary book for the exam day and two detailed books called as optimized. Shall Great. Now, what is going to be the content of the books? Let's discuss that. What is going to be the content of the book? So I am writing the content now, guys. Content of books. So this is going to be your content first. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Sure. Now, content of book. Content of book. How is the whole book is worked up? Let me show you. So, first thing that you will check in your every chapter is going to be the chapter name. Is going to be the chapter name. Then, see now, I'll show you one chapter I will show you. See how beautifully we have designed the whole book. You really like it. First, we start with chapter name, obviously. Then we have something called as a past paper analysis. Now, new syllabus may not have a past paper. New syllabus may not have a past paper analysis because it's new. But obviously, the trend we know that okay, mutual fund was there. SFM earlier also, now AFM also it has. It will be around 10 to 15 marks, then portfolio management, so on and so forth. So, chapter name, then past paper analysis will really be helpful to you to understand that yes, how every chapter, guys, is so very important then we have something called as study mentor this trust me is my favorite part as a student your friend philosopher and guide whenever we are done with any topic or anything we will tick mark it we will tick mark it the more tick marks the more we have revised trust me first time when you are going to tick mark it is just a read that you have done then second time you will understand it. Then third time revise. And then if you are aiming for something really good, this is the page that is going to help you. Now this is your responsibility, not mine. Huh? So once I'm done, say for example, I teach you a concept tomorrow and then I complete question number 5, 6, 8, whatever. So now it is your responsibility to put a tick mark here. There are few questions which are connected with other chapters. For those questions, guys, Listen carefully for those questions. I will put you can put a pending here, and when we are done with this, we can put a done here. Now, this is with me. Once you are done with me, this will be one tick mark. Then again, you will revise. Once you have revised it, again, if you have revised it one time, you will put a tick mark here. Say for examination purpose, you feel that okay, this part is very important, you will underline this. So, what will this do is you have underlined this. You know that what is the page number 26. You will immediately open your book. Go to page number 26. And okay. Now this is very important. Chalo done. In the same way. Say in the same way. Then again here we have calculation of fee payable. Page 43-44. We go. Pay question number 28. Done. If you have done it two times, three times, whatever it is. If you feel that this is important. Highlight it. So that on the day of examination. If you specifically feel. Then you can use this for your reference so study mentor the way you use it it is going to result into benefits to you okay so god helps those who help themselves now this is where you have to help yourself i will give you the best things but marking it on a daily basis then again revising it and then marking it again is your job is your responsibility at least i've put it everything also how does this help is that uh, you know that okay, these many concepts are to be done. These many question and answers are to be done. So that you can plan your things accordingly. Okay. Now if it is a theory part. See I have specifically highlighted your theory. So this is where theory is there. So this theory is also given separately. So I think guys this is going to be very helpful to you. I hope you take the benefit of it as much as possible. So here the third part that I am going to write which according to me is very, very useful. And trust me, we have put a lot of time in making in, in first conceptualizing the study mentor and then making it available for you. 
then comes the next part every chapter guys every chapter will have a preview so save mutual funds we are doing once we are done with study mentor here is a preview preview gives you a quick bird's eye view of this chapter so what is introduction to mutual funds how to establish mutual fund what are the types of mutual fund schemes what are the options classification benefits drawbacks everything formulas related to mutual funds in one place at one place so preview will give you a good idea of how the whole chapter looks like in 10 minutes you will be able to all complete the whole preview you will recollect everything and then you can kick start with the chapter okay guys so the next part is preview and then comes then starts the chapter it will always have theory and diagrammatic presentation as much as possible because whatever the eyes see we will be able to comprehend we will be able to comprehend so that's how the whole system works mm, then so now suppose if it starts here see look here look here hmm. so see now whenever I start with the chapter here we have a diagrammatic presentation wherever possible so say for example i want to start the chapter mutual funds so what is mutual funds can i say mutual fund companies invest in in share market in probably a gold market as well in a, a, a forex market as well in real estate as well so where i have taken see here i have so much money see what i have written here i have so much money but i want to invest in shares gold real estate how can i do this i will invest it through mutual funds then there is a theoretical detailed explanation for all of the concepts. So I told you once I teach after that, even when you are studying at home, you have a, a, a Gita Bible Quran with you in the form of this optimized book. And just following this will help you a lot. All right, guys. So whatever you want to take it as Gita, a Quran, a Bible, up to you. But this is what my optimized is for. All right, guys. So that's how it is. Everything, everything I have covered. Just look at this pause exhaustively. And then come the question and answers. Each and every question taken from ICAI module. Each and every. Okay. So then we will come to the practical questions. Then there are practical questions so i see ai module rtp mtp past paper old practice manual everything is here everything guys is here at one place g r okay so old pm is old practice manual so when you open this mutual funds see practical questions what it is suppose if it's a past paper question i have written here that which attempt it relates to right at the same time this also includes the solution hello so practical questions and its solution so at times i will give you all some questions in homework you have to refer them and you can use them all right guys so that's how the system is going to work i hope i'm clear guys please confirm okay yes done then i will also give you the afm magic book for your last day summary wherein all my formulas all my formulas are going to be at one place do you want to see a, a, a glimpse of the magic book see here here is the glimpse of say a chapter called as derivatives so here we are derivatives chapter see here all options all the formulas everything there is something called as sk info something that uh, conceptually you will like so here here it includes all the formulas everything at one place for your exam day revision box okay done done so i think that's more than sufficient now so from my end i have 
try to compile everything so that it becomes useful for you for the exams. Now the ball is in your court. How well you are going to put in your efforts. I will put my efforts. And 1 plus 1, we have to make that we make it 11. Okay? Sure. Done. So, that's how the whole system is going to be. Okay, guys. Feeling confident? Okay. Now, let me tell you my teaching methodology. Now, let me tell you my teaching methodology. Okay. Now, what is going to be? What is going to be my teaching methodology? Let me tell you. I will ensure that whenever I start with a concept, I start with a live example. Yes, you heard that, right? I will start with a live example. And that is going to be a real life live example which you will be able to connect. Once the example is understood in the flow, I will then connect you all. I will then connect you all to the concepts. And then once that is done, I will connect you all to the practical question and answers. I will then connect you all to the practical question and answers. What say guys? Done? So example, real life examples, concepts, practical questions, everything kawaii. Got it, guys? So, this is how I have planned your whole subject of AFM. Any suggestions that you want to give? Or now you are all okay, all set, all excited for this subject to start? If you are, then I will want you all to drop me a personal WhatsApp. Because, see, what happens is, suppose after a few days, you will start with solving, you will have some doubts. So, if I am connected with you personally also, it, it will really be helpful. So, I want a WhatsApp from you. Just write there, sir, uh, ready to rock and roll. Just write there, ready to rock and roll. Just write there, full English AFM, full English batch. You can just write that and write your location. So, say for example, we have Mr. Bhaskar. So, he will write ready to rock and roll. Bhaskar from Bangalore. But this is not all. Ready to rock and roll with, you have to write here, you have to give me a promise, you have to give me a manifestation with 80 plus marks. Okay. And where are you going to WhatsApp this to me? You have my number. Okay. Again, I'm telling you, a uh, few lectures will be live. Few lectures will be recorded as well. So, just some time back only, I recorded few lectures for my SFM batch. And there are a lot of common things in, in, in that batch as well. So, I will be sharing few lectures of that with you. And few obviously will be live. So, it will be a combination of live plus recorded. We call it as the blended batch. So, we have a blended batch and you will be able to manage everything accordingly. But conceptually everything will be done example wise everything will be done sums wise everything will be done that is my surety few through lives few through recorded few through homeworks and that's how we will ensure that we are able to do everything that is how we will ensure that we'll be able to cover everything okay guys please send it to me so that i will be able to recollect oh this is my student Chalo, let's answer him on an immediate basis as far as possible. Okay, one more important thing that I want to tell you. All the notes that I write down here, all the notes that I write down here will be uploaded. So, all the notes will be uploaded on Google Drive. On Google Drive. Okay? So, jitna bhi notes that we will ensure that we are all the notes will be uploaded on Google Drive. Kar denge? You will be getting it? Done. So, even if you are writing something, part is left. It's okay. All the lectures will be uploaded on Google Drive. So, once the session starts, it will be uploaded on Google Drive. So, I will make a section called as notes. In that note section, either day-wise or probably chapter-wise, I will put notes. Device or chapter wise, you will get the notes. So, all the handwritten notes, you will get it. 
Any questions, anybody? Are we clear? So all non-technical doubts are hope I hope are clear to you. Okay. Even Google Drive students, guys, you have to share this on your story. This is the promise that you have given. That you are going to share this. I'll check. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Great. So that's how it works. Mm, anything else that you want to discuss? No? Done? Sure. So first session, we'll keep it light. I hope we have understood it. Now, the, the the technical part I will be starting in the upcoming session. So in the next session, we'll start with that and then we'll take things forward. Okay, guys? Chal. So time for me to say hasta la vista for now. I hope we are done. For the, the, let's break it here. Chal. Great. Had a great time. Yes, we have to cover this for sure. I will imprint this in my head. You imprint this in your head. Chal, any more questions? So if not, chal, then take care. Keep smiling. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. done. So just to just take, we get an, uh, uh, a whole idea, an uh, introduction of, of how our approach is going to be, your approach is going to be, and uh, all of that is done systematically. Okay, sure. See you all. Take care.